This is how you play Allman Brothers Midnight Rider the easy way and the correct way. All right, standard E tuning. And what we're doing when the song first starts off, you have a little intro that goes. And then it goes into. All right, but let's talk about the. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm making a D, I take my middle finger off that E string, so I have just two fingers on the strings, and that's my pointer finger on the second fret G string, and my ring finger on the third fret B string, okay? All I'm doing is I'm strumming, I'm arpeggiating, playing note by note, so. And I'm, I'm playing this very slowly, okay? I'm doing D, G, B, and then I strum through it. So, D, G, B, strum, D, G, B, strum, and I'm strumming through that D, G, B on the second time around. So, I'm arpeggiating, D, G, B, strumming through it then, arpeggiate, strum, arpeggiate, and then I just speed it up. That's the intro. Super easy, not too hard to pick up. Let's go into the actual riff of the song that the song's known or that the uh, song is known for. All right, so that's all right. And what I'm doing is I have my pointer finger still on that G string and my ring finger on that. B string, third fret, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm using my middle finger and I'm hammering on the second string with the A string on the third fret, so I'm going. I pluck it open, I pluck the A string open, hammer on with my middle finger on the third fret, so. So hammer on, and then I strum through that same D, G, B chord, so. So, that's the whole thing. So, we got the hammer on down, strum through it, we strum through it once. You want to strum through it a second time, so, hear that? And then upstroke with your finger, your middle finger still on that third fret A string. Just pluck that note and then back to that downstroke on the D, G, and B string, so, so. finger off when I'm not playing it. That mutes that note. So I go. If I let that ring, it doesn't sound right, but if I take it off. Okay. So when I'm not using my middle finger on the on the A string third fret, I just take it off, okay? I'll play through one one more time really slowly. Too bad. All right, let's talk about the two other parts of the song. Okay, uh, going into the chorus, this is what is played. Okay, so we got. Back into the. For that part, what it is, it's kind of a weird chord. It's basically you want to bar the entire third fret, and then you want to put your ring finger on the A string fifth fret. Okay. Hear that? And remember with bar chords, if we have our finger on there and we're barring all the strings, if you move it higher up like that, it's going to be easier, easier for you and you're gonna make all those strings ring, okay? So, it's almost like a G, what is that? It's almost like a G minor, but no pinky. All right, so that's it right there. So, 
My pointer finger's borrowing all strings on the third fret, and then my ring finger's on the fifth fret A string. And then we do a C. All right, a C major bar chord. All right, and that's, it's basically my pointer finger on the third fret A string, my ring finger on the fifth fret D string, my uh, pinky on the fifth fret G string, okay? And I actually use my, uh, in this case, I'm, I'm barring all three of those strings with my ring finger, okay? I actually told you how to play the, bar, the power chord, not the actual bar chord, okay? So the strumming with this chorus part of the song is basically hard strum, soft strum, hard strum, soft strum. So listen. All down strokes, okay? So I'll slow it up for you. into that verse or that signature riff. The other part of the song is when the guitar solo comes in, and all that is is the C major chord and a B flat. That's all it is, switching between those two chords. It should sound like this. to that signature riff, okay? And I was kind of doing a galloping uh, strumming pattern, okay? What I was doing, I was doing this, I was going. It's basically down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. B flat. C. song right there. One last thing I want to show you, that song, that's exactly how they played in the recording. Um, <clears throat> so if you're playing and you're, you're one guitar, you don't have a full band to back you up, and you're playing this song, it sounds a little bit um, thin, I'd say, because all you're playing is... And then all that silence until the next... A way to fill that in is you can play it like this. Hear that? I cut down on the silence. And what I'm doing is this. Same as the regular, but I go. So down, down, up. I throw in an extra down, down, up, and then. Down, 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 up. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. All right, and that's it. So this is a great song. This is one of my favorite Allman Brothers songs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go to my website right now and download my list of free top secret guitar tips. I've got all types of uh, tips on there that will definitely help you guys out, so check that out. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm competing with the big dogs, all the other big uh, guitar lesson people on YouTube, and I, I really uh, would appreciate your uh, subscription, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you guys on the next lesson. Thank you.